This tutorial will show you the basic uh, text effects in Corel Draw. I start with a basic text. So for example, I'm going to put effects on this, a very, very basic effect on this uh, text here. So first, let's start by filling this, this text with a blue fill. Now, if if you want to put a drop shadow, a hard drop shadow, so you click on the text and in your keyboard, the plus sign your keyboard to duplicate the text. So I have two objects now. I'm going to move one and I'll make the other one black. Now since the black is to front of the blue, I'm going to go to uh, I'm going to click on the black text and you go to arrange order to back of page or the shortcut key for that is shift page down and now I'm just going to move it this way and it really depends upon what what you know how emphasized your drop shadow would be but basically it's this kind here okay so drop shadow a hard drop shadow now I'm going to duplicate this one and bring it down now how do we do a soft drop shadow so I click on the text and I go to my drop shadow here and then I click and drag And you're going to have a drop shadow and you can darken the drop shadow by moving that slider over to the black so basically that's a that's a soft drop shadow i'm going to color it purple now sometimes it's going to duplicate this plus sign in my keyboard and bring it down Sometimes you want to put an outline on a drop shadow. Sorry, uh, uh, an outline on the text, then a drop shadow, which is actually a good idea so that you could isolate the text from the drop shadow. So you click on the text, you go to your outline pen, and uh, let's say you're going to go four points, and then make it white. And don't forget, this is very important, this behind fill and scale with image. I would suggest to click on behind fill and scale with image so that your outline will go out of the text, not inward to the text. So I click OK. Now that's, that's a text with a drop shadow and an outline. Now I'm going to duplicate this again plus sign your keyword and then go down okay now let's say I want to have a gradient fill so I click on my uh, fill and then I click on fountain fill and uh, I click on custom and I can create my own fill say this one I'll make it yellow and then in here, the angle, I can make it 90 degrees. So just type in 90 degrees here so that the, the, the gradient will go up like uh, vertically. And then I click OK. So now you have a gradient color on the text. And then you can add, let's say I'm going to add an outline pen. I'll make it black. And then I'll make it a thick with a very thick outline and make sure behind fill and scale with image is checked and then click OK. Now I have the outline. I'll make it th more thicker. I mean more th uh, it's thicker so I'll make it say 16 points and then click OK. okay. And then notice here in the outline let's say I want to have it with a radius corner so I click on the text go to my outline 
outline pen and in here the corners I can click on this one to make it a radius corner click OK so you notice it's it's in a the corners are not uh, are not sharp now let's say I'm going to put more style on it so I'll click on it and then plus sign your keyboard and move it over to the lower right corner so I have that then I can also fill it with black and I'll go to arrange order to back of page and now I have a simple text effect now going back to this text here let's say I want to put a white outline in here Oops, that. white a very thin white outline and then the thick black outline so what I'm going to do I'm going to click on the text I know that's a text because in here in the status bar it's fountain fill so that's a text I'm going to click on my plus sign my keyboard okay and then right now it's 16 points so I'll make it go to your outline pen let's say I'm going to make it two points only but I'm, I'm going to make it white okay white and then behind fill and scale with images are fine and then click there now you have a different kind of effect I'm going to make that maybe four click there now you have you just created uh, a simple effects hit F4 now let's experiment on another effect here so I I go back to the the simplest one plus sign my keyboard and I bring it up okay I'm going to uh, color that let's say I'm gonna color it orange I'm gonna zoom in here now let's say I'm going to create a contour on this text here so I go to my contour interactive contour and then I'm going to create a contour going outside so you click on this outside here there and you notice it's outside if you don't see the outside check on your fill here it should be this different color than the text itself so I just choose on gray that's fine because we're still gonna edit that next time so now now I have a contour going out so I click on it now I'm going to separate the contour so I click on arrange break contour apart okay so now this is my contour and this is my text I'm going to hit undo now you can make a gradient on the text let's say I'm going to create a font and fill on the text let's just say I'm going to make it purple going to let's say this color here and then I'll put 90 degrees so that it would go this way okay and then click OK and now I can click on the contour I know that's the contour that I just clicked because in here in the lower right corner it says 50% black I can still add a font and fill on the contour itself so let's say I'm going to make it orange to purple I'm not sure if that will look good but let's try and then type in 90 degree and then click OK there so basically what, what we've done is we we put a fountain fill on the basic text the just the text and then we contour it but the contour we put a gradient fill too okay and then we can just plus sign the keyboard move it down and then make it black or we can leave it the same as this one 
or let's say let's make it black and then arrange order to back of page okay so that's another effect okay now let's do something different here uh, okay let's say I'm going to put here uh, some text Corel draw I'm going to enlarge it I'll make a thicker font now another way to stylize a font too is I say I want to change the spacing of the of the letters I click on my shape tool and I move this going to the right side I can overlap it this way because we're going to stylize this okay now let's say I'm going to put an outline you just put a thin outline hairline and then make the make it gray so now I can see that I have overlapping text now if I want to stylize this so I click on it and I go to arrange break artistic text okay so now this is separate text now okay so now I can color it and now I can color it this way okay now but let's say I want uh, a different text let's say I want to overlap it so I can click on one tag a uh, one text or one character and I can change the transparency of it let's say I make it uniform here and then I'll make it 50 let's say 6 uh, maybe 38 so I click on the the next text I'll make it uniform and I'll change the transparency so basically you can play around with the transparency uniform to create a an interesting effect okay I think it's best to remove the outline here so right mouse click on this icon here for no outline so this we can continue make it uniform and change the transparency and this one too okay I'm just gonna delete that so so yeah so that's the that's another effect there which is really easy to do in Corel just you know just changing the transparency another effect too is uh, the bevel effect which is uh, so you click on the text and make sure you go to window docker and then click on um, bevel here so windows docker and then bevel so in bevel here you can create a soft edge or embossed but let's say we go to soft edge here and then you can play around with the distance here and the direction okay let's say we try this one and click on apply see so you notice that it it did a bevel effect so whenever you want to change the bevel effect you have to undo the effect first before going to the before editing it so let's say I want to to make the distance larger let's say 0.2 of an inch and then click on apply so that's the effect that you'll get okay. so so that's one effect and you can also I'm just going to type in another one here so so effect so let's say we're going to use the 
uh, the emboss so I'm gonna, going to color that green same thing okay I'm just going to experiment here so you click on emboss and then let's do the, let's do the default first and then click apply okay so I'll click undo because we didn't see any change because I think because of the distance it's too small so let's say the distance is 0.1 we start with 0.1 of an inch and click on apply so that's the emboss uh, I don't know if you see it but there's a gray gray uh, gray text there what I'm going to do I'm just going to make this black here or dark green uh, arrange order to back of page and uh, I'm just going to delete this and then type in again effects okay so so that we can see the effect of the embo emboss okay so I click on that let's just make it that color okay, move that so I click here and then we go emboss and point one of an inch and then you can change you know the intensity direction let's just click on apply here okay so you notice that the you know it made an emboss effect okay I click on undo and let's say we change the color because this one the light color is white but let's say we make it uh, this color here beige or light green and in the shadow we can change it to us dark green okay and click on apply there so you can change you know all the properties in here I think I'll just go with black I think black is better click on apply just the shadow so that's that's another effect too Another effect is the fading effect of the text too. So I made a dark background and then the, the text would be uh, would be lighter. So I go to my interactive transparency tool. Okay. Click on this and just click. Hold down control shift to make it straight like the transparency to be straight. Okay. Now if you notice here that's black. So I'm going to move this black, okay, the black color, and I'm going to put it here. Okay, again. Okay, so I've got black and black, which means to say it's all transparent. But if I click on the white here, and then I, I move my white in the center here, so I'm gonna do that again there there so now I can create a fading effect okay so that's another uh, style too another style too is um, doing a power clip on the text so let's say I'm going to type here chess so I've got a photograph and okay, I'm just going to decrease the spacing okay so let's say that's fine and I'm going to power clip this onto my text just gonna make that okay so I click on the image I go to effects power clip place inside the container okay and I click on the container which is the text so there I have it now even though this is power clip you can still stylize it by let's say you want to add some outline let's say eight points and outline pen 
just gonna make it maybe 12 points behind fill scale with image click OK maybe thicker some more say 16 points maybe 24 points okay and you can still you know apply some some effects like drop shadow like that even though it's par clip you can still use the drop shadow there okay so that's another style